Alright, here we go. We've got the 10 t up and going with Doug's help. Uh, we're running a total of 84 ohms off of the uh, uh, pot. And uh, I don't even want to guess. Look at all these resistors here. Uh, run battery is at 12.68. Cell voltage. Uh, it's not on right now. It's just reading it. Uh, 2.27 we got a meter hooked up so we can read the uh, uh, amount of milliamps on the trigger circuit and then we've got our meter here so we can read the frequency of duty cycles so let's fire it up you can see what the uh, cell voltage is jumping up to 15.3 now it's settling back down we're drawing about 300 milliamps on the trigger side frequency is 20 2.437 duty cycle is 29.1 and we are pulling just a little heavy on 2 amps everything will stand cooler except for the second transistor it's a little bit like 4 degrees warmer than everything else and you can see the cell voltage 1531 and let's zoom in here and see what you can see inside the cell here getting a lot bit bigger bubbles Let's see if we can run this side a lot more and run battery still 12.55. The cells drop down to 12.19 or 15.19. That's the hottest we've had it go yet, and to keep it stable. Frequency right now is 2.391 and 300 milliamps on the trigger circuit. I keep giving a nice shot of that connector right there. Let's see if we can get down inside the cells. See if we can see anything. They're pretty tight, but it's just boiling. I mean, there's a, a lot more reaction than before. A lot bigger bubbles, too. So let me post this on there so Doug can take a look at it. And temperature-wise, we're staying pretty much in check right now. So we'll catch you later.